Yeah, welcome back. And if you're just joining us, the program is so good morning, Abuja. And now to our second conversation of the day, we'll be looking at how we can promote awareness as what we are doing right now is promoting awareness to everybody, you know, about the best practices so that we can stop social media hacking. And to do justice to that, we have a cybersecurity expert in the house in person of Adam Yusuf. You're welcome to the studio, sir. Thank you. Compliment of the season. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. And it's good to have you. How do we now, you know, raise awareness about social media hacking crucial in today's digital age? It affects everybody. Thank you very much. Um, social media is sex, actually. Uh, a technology and technology that I like oh. to create content. Okay. I like to share your feelings. Oh. I like to share videos. Oh. I like you to communicate with the other seamlessly. Uh -huh. It actually started as uh, what people used to make uh -huh. chat within themselves uh -huh. until uh, everybody get to where now they're in serious businesses across the social media. Okay. And so there are several of them. Um, maybe the most common that most people use around here for different ages. Uh -huh. For we digital migrants, we're used to Facebook. Okay, okay. <laughs> For the natives, they are more close to Instagram, yes. uh, TikTok, Twitter, oh. um, <laughs> WeChat, and, 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 and all the rest, and the X. Oh. And uh, the Telegram is also for the digital migrant, too. Yes. You know, don't think it's for them. Okay. So all these various ones exist. Okay. And, uh, they actually facilitate the communication. They were made free. And so because of that, everybody get uh, well lured uh -huh. into using them, become so uh -huh. dependent on it. Uh -huh. I think we can't do without it. Uh -huh. And in fact, I mean, most people don't write later again. They just greet yourself via social media. Okay, and it's true. <laughs> we so, it makes because, it easier. So it becomes, uh -huh. people are actually even doing real business, selling things online via yes. social media and making uh -huh. money out of it. Uh -huh. So we become so dependent. Uh, with the habit of uh, smartphones, uh, now everybody prefer to just Send your, I mean, your expression, your feelings oh. through your social media. Okay. I mean, uh, sometimes I said, I ask myself, how are we faring in early 2001 oh. when we're having 2G that can only send SMS oh. and make a call? Uh -huh. <laughs> I was like, how are we doing that? I don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, also dependent upon it, yes. Okay. Yes, and so because everybody is now using it, uh -huh. uh, it's like uh, we've moved our life from the physical uh -huh. world to the virtual world. Okay. So okay. likewise, the one we used to have uh, the criminal element in the physical world. Oh. They've also decided to move to the digital oh, world yes. to wait for people there. And that's why there's a challenge. Oh. Everybody needs to be taught oh. how to use it and protect yourself from being uh, undermined okay. by the, 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 those cyber, we'll call them oh. cyber criminals. Yes, oh. all right. Now, and the first thing we'll tell people today is that first and foremost is that be sure why is why you're on social media. Oh. When you know why you are there, oh. what do you really want okay. to be on social media? Okay. If there's no business being there, mm. don't be there. Okay. Number two, also advise that people should not use their business line for their social media. Okay. Okay. If the same phone you use for your bank app, the same phone you use for your social media, mm. means that if I take control of your phone, and then I could do something on your social media and your bank app, and whatever message is supposed to come back for you to indicate, I will still have access to it. Okay. So we should try to separate our business interaction. From, from the one that's just for social interaction. Okay. Another we should tell everybody to do that when we use a social media, I mean, that's, most of these apps, they have made a lot of provision for you to protect yourself. Okay. Don't leave them to just your default settings. No. Okay. Go to the settings and change something there to what you think you need. Okay. The one you don't need, turn them off. Okay. Two, enable the call to factor authentication okay. in such a way that nobody does enter your social media without okay. a message being sent back to your phone. Okay. And then three, also make sure that don't send what mind what you send on social media. Mm. Some people expose themselves. You are going for a party, you create on social media, you are going for a picnic, mm. and that means the criminal knows that your house is empty at that time. Mm. So wherever you are going, every, some people like they can live their entire life on social media. This is not really safe. Okay. And actually, you expose yourself to a wider world of people that are more hopeless mm. than even the physical world. So for that reason, people should be careful what they show. Online. Mm -hmm. And so these are oh. times. And they also advise them that look, when you have change your password, make your password used for social media is oh. strong enough. Any sort of alphabet, mm -hmm. any sort of uh, lowercase, special character, oh, no, numbers, 
And they should not be a date of birth. Because most people will know a date. Most uh-huh. of your colleagues will know a date of birth. Or in your back end, there's no a date of birth. Uh-huh. It shouldn't be a song that everybody knows, okay, you know this. Uh-huh. Some people just put their name as a password. Yeah. And it will be easy for. So for all the cyber security, you have the more you mix different characters, uh-huh. and the longer it is, the more difficult it is for it to be compromised. But uh-huh. for, as you said, the migrants. Uh-huh. <laughs> With the migrants, uh-huh. you know, it's easier to just migrate. Uh-huh. Give me your birthday <laughs> ones, and then you just use you know, them. It's something you uh-huh. want to remember. Uh-huh. So they were telling me that look, if you want to be secure, this is to make sure you and also was that advice that at least every six months change your password. Yes. Wow. <laughs> every six months? <laughs> change it like I said. Even somebody has captured it somewhere, uh-huh. then by the time you change, change it, it, it becomes useless. Uh-huh. Because uh, and then we also tell people that be careful. All these free third uh, third party software you download it are free and free. Uh-huh. I know most of them once you download them, uh-huh. access to access everything. Every, and yeah. you grant access. Uh-huh. Some of them are actually owned by those rogue people who yes. used to pick all the details from your phone. Wow. Mm-hmm. And so for that reason, if you don't need the free, it doesn't because it's free, oh. and it is full of fun, let me just download this. Okay. Then we also notice that there are people they send message to. If you don't know who send you a message, oh. particularly pictures oh. or a message that shows picture, but nothing is showing, oh. and just say click, don't click. Oh. Some send you SMS message and it will oh. show you to be still unknown. Oh. Yes. Yes. Say, yes. No, don't oh. download because. Behind that unknown, there's a code behind that. Once you click, it will install on your phone with your access right. Huh. Because like me, it's like open door, someone is following you behind yeah. the house with you. So then your key is useless. Since you hold the key, you open the door and enter it with you. Oh, that's your key, I cannot play any room. So once you click such things, hmm. it's going to execute with your own access right, with your own permission on your okay. phone. And it will to scan, scan through your phone hmm. and pick all your password and uh, Username that you have saved. And most of us save our email password, our yes. bank password, then we should save it on the phone. We don't mm-hmm. type it several times. Yeah. This will need to be need to change. Because if we don't, then when touch software come and pick them, uh-huh. it doesn't be where is just effortlessly will begin to assess your information. We've been speaking with a cybersecurity expert on creating awareness on how to stop hackers to have access to our social media platform. Let's go on a short break. When we come back, the discussion continues. Welcome you on today's uh, ride on the show. Good morning, Abuja. This is Window on Abuja. We have everything it takes to compete with any nation all across the world. How do we make it? We are ready to produce. We have been contributing to the development of your kingdom. Hello and welcome to Young Hearts. Our focus today will be on hepatitis B. Lady Like! This is Entertainment Gist. In the 14th century, 15th, 16th century, and even 17th. That is for the girl to cure and greed. The purpose why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decided to create humanity. The Bible talks about a man called Apollo. This is NTA Abuja Channel 5. See you same time. And have a great and blessed week ahead. Eyes for Allah, nothing but Allah. But it's the beginning of Bismillah. Tha is for taqwa, bewaring of Allah And tha is for thawab, a reward Ja is for Jannah, the garden of paradise Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh Welcome to your weekly guide, Light of Islam I am Aisha Ahmed As Muslims, we know that in Islam, time is a very good and important commodity that we have Believe in the angels of God as one of the six articles of faith Karma is made in form rose and how the rose are made is such that the Imam stands in front and then right behind him Assalamu alaikum, this is Light of Islam Keep watching, Light of Islam that is for the girl to cure our greed when we give our money to those in need. Welcome back from that break, and now to the continuation of our discussion. Before we went on break, I want to ask you from your experience what other tactics do the, does these hackers use to have unauthorized access to our social media platforms? 
Uh, thank you very much for the beautiful question. The other thing they also do is what to call social engineering. Okay. They pretend to be somebody close to you, somebody you know. Meanwhile, you don't really know them. Okay. And then they deceive you to give them some information about you. And then some of them, what they do is uh, if they have to hack somebody's uh, WhatsApp who did not protect his own. Mm. They go to all the group he belong to and begin to find out who are his associate. I'm going to send them dubious messages, send me money I'm, I'm in need. Mm-hmm. I provide my account, send my social account. And some people are funny victims. I want to tell people that, look, once somebody sends a message that sends me money, call him. If he cannot answer your call, then he cannot use the money if you send it. Okay. So don't send money until you talk. Be sure that the person with the question is actually the right person. Okay. It can, that's very happening very frequent. And so we must also begin to educate our family members, mm-hmm. our workers, our mm-hmm. colleagues, our, our group, even platform members. Look, mm-hmm. make sure you have two-step authentication on your phone. Okay. Because if one person is hacked, then everybody's at risk. If one person is hacked, mm-hmm. everybody in the group mm-hmm. is at risk. risk. So okay. it's like attack on one, it's attack on all. On all. So everybody mm-hmm. has to be up okay. and down. Okay. They also advise them that when you now enforce that two-step authentication on your social media, mm-hmm. whatever they're going to take over your social media app, mm-hmm. the system will send you a code to your phone. Okay. Requesting, are you sure the one that initiates mm-hmm. this change? Okay. Any code that there's uh, what to call the 10-step, uh, uh, 10, uh, 10, uh, mm-hmm. Uh, advice. Mm-hmm. Any code sent to your phone mm-hmm. is meant for you alone and nobody else. That's number one rule. Any code sent to your phone... But what if your phone is compromised at, at that time? Now, if you send your... Well, as long as your phone is physically with you... Mm-hmm. If it's not with you. Yeah, if it's not with you, that's become a different scenario entirely. When that will come to that, when there's not... Mm-hmm. Now, when your phone is with you, what people still do, they send them, they will now call me, hey, I mean, when social group, your friend social group, mm-hmm. we have a meeting this evening, mm-hmm. and I'm yes. telling people, this is the code. Co- all those stuff. Okay. So, so we understand that those tricks. Oh, or they're not, they're not telling you that in this platform, you're yeah, in this group, uh, we're a PTA, we're mm-hmm. this one, uh, we're in this we're a street meeting, mm-hmm. or this association okay. meeting, and we're having a meeting, online meeting, I'm, I'm okay. to reach everybody, I'm sending a code. Mm-hmm. It's not true. Okay. There's no social media that will ask you for code. The only one that when you want to register in there and ask a username and code mm-hmm. is the, uh, the Zoom. Because yeah. that's a video yeah, you're seeing a video. each other. Yeah, so any code anybody, and they have to send you the code you use to log in, not that you give somebody to put in for you. Yes. So anyone asking for a, a code is a rogue. Don't okay. give. Okay. Don't because when you give out that code, they can use to hack your phone, they can use to hack your email, they can use to hack your bank app, they can use to hack your your your, I mean, uh, your I mean, all your other social media account. Yes. It can be used to compromise so many things about you. In fact, it can, such code can be to register your terrorist website, whereby you be called, you be mm. that you're a member, you don't know how you, how got, you there. got there. So all these are things we have to do. Any code sent to your phone, don't oh. ever share with anybody. So how can individuals or organizations improve you know, their understanding of social media um, threats and also protect their own accounts? Yes. So what, no, we, there, are, there are two aspects of using social media. Some people use for personal mm-hmm. use, other use for business. In fact, there's organization they try, they discuss more via this social media apps. Mm-hmm. Now, when you have business social media, it's a different ball game and time mm-hmm. because you have to have a policy that guides yes. the usage. Yes. There has to be rules and I mean the regulation of who and who should have access to it, mm-hmm. and then what you can do on the platform. Okay. And then everybody should be educated on those measures they should take so that nobody is like I mentioned earlier, attack on one particular attack on all. Oh. So for that, we must make sure everybody is aware so that nobody go and fall victim. Uh-huh. But one person is compromised, it exposes every other person on the same group. Uh-huh. And if your brand is compromised, uh-huh. that is more dangerous of an organization. Uh-huh. And that's why they need to do additional, uh, which I think would mean, I mean uh, it's beyond today's discussion. Discussion, <laughs> okay. What they need to do uh-huh. that to protect their, their, digital, uh-huh. their digital brand uh, image. image. Okay. From your analysis, finally, I want you to education is a continuous yes. thing. I want you to educate us more on those steps we need to take to protect our social media platforms. Okay. Now, apart from the ones I have mentioned mm-hmm. earlier, that we should try as much as uh, uh-huh. make sure we check all our settings, uh-huh. ensure we have good password, we think okay. it regularly. Uh-huh. Also ensure that you don't leave your physical phone exposed. Uh-huh to people that can manipulate it yes. when you're not there. Uh-huh. Okay. There should also remember that security is a continuous journey. It's not uh-huh. a one-off affair. It's something you keep checking activity. And when you see any message, you remind you from social media that, look, you have done this, you have done this. Be sure you actually did. Otherwise, quickly go in and complain. Come on. There are ways you can report to the social media app. Look, this is not from me. And they will take measure to reverse 
whatever has been done. Okay. But if you don't deal with it 24 hours, mm -hmm. the person must have taken over your account okay. before you know what has happened. That's why I have to be conscious when we use oh. our social media and tell something we'll do as a continuous process. Thank you for calling. Thank you, so Thank you for this educative discussion. Yes. We've been speaking with Alam Yusuf, a cybersecurity expert on how to prevent our social media from hackers. The social media has become a hacking space for these hackers and the cyberspace is no longer safe. So protect yourself, get educated on how to protect the social media platform.